welcome to my channel crafting my way today I will be doing um, um, some quick DIYs um, I'm doing the two-tier tray with clothespins I will be doing a few summer DIYs as well and some things that I have from right around my home from you know how we have things laying around and you didn't think you can do anything with it but then you are ah, you know that thing but I would love if you guys will comment subscribe hit the notification bell so whenever I do a video you will be notified and help me to get a thousand subscribers so please don't forget to comment like put in the comments in my description box below to let me know what you would like to see me do make and then along the way I'll begin to give little at home tips for um, budget friendly decorating things as simple as pillows and a throw rug that would just change the whole scenery of your room just by doing those two items so please don't forget like comment and subscribe and we're going to jump right into it okay guys and right here i'm going to be doing um two tier uh, tray using clothes pins and here i have this the, my coffee solution i have the stove covers that i got from the dollar tree and this pack it comes with a large and a small one and i also got my clothes pins from the dollar tree and here i'm going to stain them with and this is my coffee solution because i do like the way coffee stain things so i'm going to use that to stain them and here you would need three and a half bags so i did pick up four bags of the clothes pins to start the tray with it turned out to be very cute at hand i did run into a problem with trying to glue the stem to the top but you'll see how it comes out Okay, now I have um, this one that I kind of took from my Instagram story. So I have the top of it. Let's see, I had to get a pretty um, brown, I want to call it chocolate, chocolate, I'm sorry, and my, my light brown or whatever. So I'm mixing the two together because I don't have a lot of liquid in my stuff. And I have a new um, acrylic paint that I got from the Dollar Tree, but I really didn't want to try on this um, particular uh, DIY. So here I'm just using my um, the brown paint that I have. It's called chocolate something. <laughs> but I'm just doing the tray. Really, if you don't want to, you don't have to paint it. But I decided to do front and back of my trays. Totally love up to you because I didn't want white to really be peep peeping through, but you really couldn't see it if you think about it because you going to have your, um, be placing your decorations or whatever you decide to put inside. So you won't be able to really see it, but I just decided to do the in, the inside and, and the outside is what I'm doing here is just painting it, you know, using my different brushes for this. Um, and it, as I say, it did turn out nice um, toward the end and um, some, get some painting going here with it and you can like I said you could have left you know if you decide to leave it leave the clothes pin which is a nice like light wood look you know which is not bad but I decided to you know paint mine and I'm using the heat gun that I did order from Amazon I've had quite a while but I will put it in my description box below and just tell me if you're going to use a color for the clothes pin would you stick with the browns or natural colors or would you do a completely different color what would you do just let me know in the comments um below so i'm gonna just um and i use the heat gun you know to finish up these projects which i really like the um the top of my stove covers with the lemons and i could have used it for my decor because that's my summer theme I have going lemon crazy. I have my dining room set up so beautiful with the lemons and I ordered from the Dollar Tree the um the plate set and the um, placemats and I also ordered placemats from Amazon. So I got both of them. I'm using like everything and anything to do with them. I'm using this summer. So let me know 
do you all have a theme or do you decorate for every season? You know, how do you guys do? Um, because I love, you know, whatever the seasons are, I decorate with that. So I'm, I have the lemon with the black and the white going along with it and it's nice and I'm really going to um, videotape it and let you guys see how it come out so I thought this came out really really um nice you know so I did use my um as I say the heat gun to just finish it and I really did not have to do the bottom of it but I decided that I wanted to do the, the back of it as well so um that's decided to do here and it do um it don't take as long when you're going to use your heat gun and it as i say it wasn't a long um project to do but it does turn out really cute and then i don't know whether you guys give out ideas of what you want to put in your tier trays because you know you do end up putting more than one sometime tray and i try not to put the same thing you know in that one but give me some ideas of the different things you can put in your trays so here i'm just going back over it some of the spots that i missed and um then i'm going to begin to i gotta get it dry put my um i have to paint my candlesticks that i got also i don't paint those and you don't have to use candlesticks you can use whatever you want to for your stand you know but i decided to use the candlestick for mine and i do paint it by here using the same you know um thing that i did the same color here and then we, and i don't know whether you guys ran into a problem with the candlesticks so i had to end up ordering them because my dollar tree they would never have them so i had to order them from the dollar tree it took forever so then i had to order from Amazon and what do you know I end up with two cases of candlesticks so I would have candlesticks for a while Okay, now right here I have laid my um, candlestick down, and here you're just placing your clothespins as close as you can get them. You might have to make adjustments as you go along, because I did find out what happened with me. I ended up with one out of place, so I just moved it around, and um, it ended up working out fine for me. And so I began to just, you know, you just adjust them as you go along, or when you finish you can if you notice they're not you know straight you can always um go back in and get them you know adjust them as you go along if you like whatever makes it easier for you the only problem that i ran into was my um glue had dried out because right here you want to use your gorilla glue or 6000 whatever glues you have and i did pick up a from the Dollar Tree. I tried that for the first time it seemed like it worked fine to hold my top tear tray on. I was having a problem getting it centered, you know, for me. I always have a problem with trying to get my top tray centered. But here it turned out fine. I did go around and make my adjustments. So that part worked out fine for me. And now I will begin to use my, you know, put on my top tray but you want to just make sure it's all even and set and this is what I'm doing here before I get started with the next one so I do use the gorilla um gorilla glue on this one along with the um hot glue and for permanent hole you need to use both glue Okay, so now I'm trying to, um, I'm finished with my um, tray on the top, and I decided to 
is a nautical rope that I had gotten from Lowe's and I just separated it to kind of go over in which you don't have to do that if you don't like but you know you make your own decors your own so I decided to separate the nautical rope and add um, it around where you see the little silver from the um, from the clothespins and just said I'm just going to put that all you know all around you know so it can um, kind of hide that and also I use this is my first time trying I don't know whether any of you guys have tried the adhesive spray well that was something that I got from the Dollar Tree and um, so it eventually hold the top because I was having a little problem with the glue holding the top tier for me and um, but I just was having also a problem with some of my glues I don't get the tops I guess tight enough and it ended up getting hard so I had to brush some of it on, but I did at the end use the adhesive spray along with the with the hot glue. So it worked out fine. <clears throat> it worked out fine for me, you know. And um, this is the way it's turning out, which I thought it came out so cute at the end. And I also got some little bowls, and I forget the name of these things that I got from Hobby Lobby to put onto the front of the trays when I'm completed with the um with the nautical rope. So I'm just gonna put it on the top and I also put it on the bottom one as well. You know, you just and you can use, you know, whatever trays you like, but this one worked fine for clipping the clothes pins on. I did not have to glue them. They stay perfect, you know. And you just go around and um, they all will fit perfectly. Sometimes you have to, you know, move one or two around to get it to fit in there. But it does work out in the end for you. So I didn't have a problem with that. It was just one seemed like it was going to be um, not enough room, but I needed the space. So I just moved it around and it fit it perfectly. So it works out great and whatever stain you want to use whether it's acrylic paint or coffee stain or whatever paint you know you just make it whatever you you want it to be in your own you know to decorate it you know to match your decor or your whatever you would like to do the one beautiful thing i love about the trays you can make these tier trays out of anything and you can have it over year round you can put it in all different places in your home well, you want to put in your laundry room or your kitchen or coffee station. It just, you know, it's just endless what you want to do and put into your trays. And then I'm looking around for the other part of my um, nautical rope, which I can't find it in. I end up eventually finding it, you know, when you get started, you have stuff everywhere. So I add my little bow that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I just love these little bows. I, I can't think of what you call them now, but I'm sure you guys know. And it has a little button on there. It's very cute for this type of decor as well. Just the finishing of my tray. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so when I do the next video, you will get it. And tell me what you think. Thank you so much.